What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be using another pseudo legendary team, but this time rocking out with Dragon Bolt. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to click that big red subscribe button and ring this notification bell so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we are using Dragon Pole today. And when Dragon Pole was, was released in Sword and Shield, I absolutely fell in love with it. It became one of my favorite pseudo legendaries of all time. I just think his design is amazing. Cool little dragon and ghost type. With a nice little ghost tail i just think it looks absolutely amazing and its stats are incredibly strong with its speed being really high and its physical attack being high at the same time but with that out of the way we get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only gothic tail and gothic tail is really good for doubles considering it has shadow tag and shadow tag is its ability and it allows other pokemon not to swap out so you can kind of just keep pokemon in the battle and roll out from there it also has the safety goggles as an item rock and psychic heal pulse trick room and fake out for its four moves Right next to him is going to be that Dragapult with Clear Body, which is an amazing ability, which will not allow opposing Pokemon to lower this Pokemon stat. So I love that ability. Makes Dragapult 10 times better. This one has a Choice Ban as an item. Then has Dragon Call, Dragon Darts, Terror Blast, and U-Turn for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be Gyarados, and Gyarados is great for double battles, considering it has Intimidate. I shouldn't, I shouldn't just say great for double battles. It's great for rank battles, singles and doubles, because of its Intimidate ability. It has a clear amulet as its item, so its stats can't be lowered. Rock and Waterfall, EQ, Dragon Ants, and Protect for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be one of the best Tailwind setters in the game at the moment. It is going to be Talonflame with the Gale Wings and the Tailwind kind of combo. So once at full HP, any flying move gets first turn priority. And since Tailwind is a flying move, it gets first turn priority. So we can just set up the Tailwind and get the speed rolling from there. It has Focus Sash as its item, and then its other three moves are going to be Brave Bird, will o to burn physical attackers, and Protect for its final move. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be a pseudo-legendary that has been taking over, and I was kind of like not expecting Hydreigon to be this good on rank ladder above like other pseudo-legendaries, but Hydreigon has came to play, has been very strong on a lot of different teams, and doing a lot of work. It's got Levitate as its ability, Rocking the Choice Specs as its item with Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, and Snarl. Final Pokemon is going to be our support, Amoongus. Amoongus is phenomenal in this ranked meta as of right now, considering it can counter Dodonzo and do a lot more with that. It's got Regenerator, Citrus Berry as its item, then its moveset is going to be Clear Smog, Spore, Rage Powder, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Choice Span Dragapult team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room team with Armor Rouge and Mousehold, and then he also has Indeedee, Mimikyu to set that Trick Room, and then it's Torkoal, and what is that Pokemon? Murkrow. I don't, I'm not sure if Armor Rouge can set Trick Room, but I know Mimikyu can. I definitely know Mim Mimikyu can. I do have to watch out for the Indeedee as well, because Indeedee is just great on support. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could lead Gothitel, but if we lead Gothitel, we can't fake out with it. So I'm kind of, I'm still kind of thinking of leading Gothitel, because I can counter up Trick Room on that note. Or I could just go in with Amoongus, and then in with a Pokemon more so like Dragapult, start dealing some damage, and then maybe just start Sporing with Amoongus. Actually, Torkoal could be slower than Amoongus, right? Yeah, Torkoal is definitely a little bit slower than Amoongus, which kind of sucks, but I feel like we can get after the battle that way. What's your typing, or your terror typing? It's Grass, too. I thought maybe it would be Poison, and we can kind of just dip out from that. But I'm going to go Gothitelle here. I am going to go Gothitelle, and I might even lead the Dragapult. Potentially, you turn out. And then get after the battle that way. So I'm liking that. I'm going to bring Gyarados. And then final Pokemon. Probably going to be Amoongus. Actually, or do I go Hydreigon? I kind of like Hydreigon. I kind of do like Hydreigon. I could actually lead Hydreigon. Instead of Dragapult. Hmm. I am going to do that. Actually, I cannot. Actually, yes, I can. Hold up. I have three seconds left. I don't think I can get all this in. I got it. I hit done. I hit done. That was impressive. That was impressive. I did not get the Hydreigon as lead, but I, I went back to normal with Dragapult. Hopefully, it locked it in. Hopefully, it has everything going for me. So I'll take the Dragapult lead, but I feel like Hydreigon might have been better as lead, as I could definitely see Indeedee coming out here, but it is what it is. We'll see in a second. We shall see who we get off the lead. Indeedee does come out here. This is why it would have been good for this Pokemon. And Gothel and Dragapult. So I'm fine with that. I'm definitely fine with that, because I can U-turn Pivot out here. Let me kind of roll off from here. So we can't fake out due to the surge, but but I could pop a trick room to kind of counteract the trick room. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. DD special defense is going to get boosted. I'm thinking I'm just you turn down here. Popping a trick room just to counter that. Hmm. So you turn into the Mimikyu. 
I mean, if I can take off this disguise, that could be good. Or do I do as much damage as I possibly can over onto this, uh... Over onto this Ndidi. I think we get right after this Ndidi. The follow me, yeah, I was gonna say, a follow me is probably coming out here. And he's probably trying to pop Trick Room. But I'm Trick Rooming on top of this Trick Room to counter this Trick Room. If that makes sense. And that's a big time damage. We like that damage. We like that damage a lot. Let's see how this one plays out here. Who do we go into, though? Could go into Gyarados. Isn't too bad. Um, hmm. I could definitely go into Gyarados. I could also go into you. And Snarl for KOs. I'm all about the Snarls. I'm all about the Snarl. So I can eventually swap you. I'm going to go into Hydra down here. Snarl to KO the, uh, the Ndidi. And then start getting after that Mimikyu. I wonder if a Snarl and a Psychic could KO. But Mimikyu does go for a Trick Room. We make a great prediction read there. And we're going to Trick Room to counter the Trick Room. I'm all about it. The Trick Room counters the Trick Room. Beautiful play by Jeans. Um, hmm. Do I go for another Trick Room? Well, I feel like I just... I feel like I just double down to Mimikyu here. Go for the Psychic. And on top of that, go for the Snarl. Just seems like the best play. So the following might come out here again. No, he protects him, Didi. It's fine. That's fine. We're doubling down to Mimikyu. And I wonder if Mimikyu's trying to pop another Trick Room. And if it is, that's totally fine. Because I can just pop another Trick Room with my full health Gothitelle. And kind of get after the battle that way. Or maybe the Gothitelle could pick up a KO with a Psychic. Could be good, but I don't think it can. I know the Psychic Terrain is out, so we will get a nice little boost from that. He's going to Sword Dance. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We're not popping Trick Room again. You thought we were popping Trick Room again? I'm in this dude's head. I'm playing with him. I know exactly what he's doing. So we roll out with that. We get off some big damage. Mimikyu can go for a Player Off. Actually, no. We outspeed it. We outspeed it. I'm just going to swap. I'm just going to swap into... Do I say Gothel? No, I think I swap into like my Dragon Ball here. Just seems like the best bet. Have my choice Pokemon out here for when it's just this last two Pokemon. Maybe Rock and Shadow Sneak, but Snarl's going to be able to KO, right? Yeah, I'm all I'm all with the Snarl train. I'm all with the Snarl train. And plus, we can slide Gothel back in our party. So when it comes out again, we can drop a nice little fake out. And everything should be working good here. So we get out of Dragon Ball here. We're ready for the next Pokemon. Indeed, he's going to pop the helping hand. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, are you Shadow Sneaking? It could, might not be fine. He does go for a Shadow Sneak. And it's Electric Turn, or Psychic Turn. What are you doing? Get him on out of here. Both guys, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Our opponent set the Psychic Terrain and then tried to use the first turn priority move. Actually, I can't judge. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> Sometimes I, I forget about the terrains, but we're rolling out strong here battle number one. Looking like a sweep. I don't think we've been touched yet, have we? No, we're just killing it right now. Then I end up going into Arm Rouge and Torkoal. I'm just going to start Snarling both special attackers. Well, I have to snarl with my choice uh, choice specs. But then on top of this, I could U-turn out. Or I could tear it into fire. <laughs> but I just think Dragon Call is going to be a play. Or I can darts. I don't think darts is too bad. Hitting both of them. I kind of do like darts with the choice spam. I'm just going to snarl. I'm just going to drop a darts. And I think it's pretty much... Right? I think this match is a wrap, right? Dragon Dart's going to fly over here. And we'll both hit him. It will. That's awesome. Now, Snarl should outspeed, right? Yep, we're going to say bye-bye to this uh, arm rouge. And I think first battle is going to be a no-touch sweep. We haven't got touched, right? Gothel didn't get hit. Hydragon hasn't been touched. Dragapult hasn't been touched. I think I'm all about it, right? Nobody's been touched. This is what I would call a perfect sweep. So there's sweeps when you have when you win a battle without losing a Pokemon, but a perfect sweep is when you beat a team without losing any HP. And this is looking like it's going to be a perfect sweep. I'm just gonna Dragon Darts and Snarl, but I don't know if this can actually KO. Maybe he'll cancel and I'll get the perfect sweep that way. But let's see what he does. Battle was canceled. Perfect sweep to get this video started. Match number two coming at you guys going up against, I believe this is the exact team that I showcased a top tier tournament winning Gengar team right here with Dragonite, which is a nice little normal type Pokemon, or normal Terror type, I should say. Then he's got Cerule Edge rocking out with uh, Hydreigon, Murkrow, and Golden Go. So I feel like this is going to be an easy Talonflame lead. And on top of that, I could go Dragapult and potentially just Choice. Right? Choice Dragapult could be good. You could also go into Gyarados. I know uh, Dragapult has, or not Dragapult, Dragonite has Inner Focus, though. And it's really one of the only physical attackers on the scene. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? Definitely need speed right here. Definitely need speed. Uh, Amoongus, eh. Gothitelle, eh. 
I'm thinking of going maybe like Gyarados and trying to get something rolling here. Hmm. Dragon Pulse not bad, especially if I can switch to fire typing. Is that what I want to do? What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? I'm thinking Hydreigon. Who's faster, Hydreigon or Pole? I believe Pole's like miles faster. 165. And Pole is probably 200 or something, right? 194. Okay. I'm all about it. Ah, oh, dude, I'm thinking of going Pole. I like the Pole or Go Gary. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What do I want to do? I'm going to go Gary. Considering it has EQ. We can kind of get after it that way. And EQ is going to be really, really nice. Especially with all these flying and levitate Pokemon on my team. So, I'm all about it. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. We're looking to go back to back. But this team, like, no wonder why it won tournaments. Like, it just seems like, like, just looking at it, going up against it, there is just, like, so many different options they can lead. So many different problems that we have to deal with. So, I don't know. I don't know how this one's going to turn out for us. Let's look at the Hydreigon. He goes in with the Murkrow. Uh, I'm cool with that. Uh, Intimidates can come out here. And I could D-Dance here. I could definitely D-Dance. I could definitely D-Dance. That one's probably out of here, probably, right? And I don't even know if we D-Dance, considering he just haze me. So I'm just going to straight up Waterfall the Murkrow. I'm, I'm, I'm down with Waterfall and the Murkrow. I think we're going to see double Tailwind. I think we're each going to Tailwind. Or he might even taunt my Talonflame. But I think Talonflame will get priority first, right? Yeah. Talonflame does get priority first. We go for Tailwind. Hopefully, he goes for a taunt or something here. Nope. We're just going to go Tailwind for Talonflame. We're going to match it. And we're just going to get straight after the battle. Hydreigon. Scaring me, though. Dark Pulse coming in hot. You should be able to eat that. I think he had Sash anyway. That thing's orb. It did a huge chunk of damage. Waterfall going to fly. We're just chunk chunking up damage. And Murkrow low-key soaks. It really does. Murkrow low-key soaks up. Uh... Hmm. I could Brave Bird, which I might just do. But Brave Bird would kill me. Brave Bird would kill me. I could protect. I'm thinking of doing I'm thinking of just protecting the Talon Flame and going into a uh another waterfall into the Murko slot. I'm gonna withdraw Hydreigon. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. He's gonna go in the Golden Go's gonna come out here. Golden Go comes out here. And Golden Go might just protect next turn, knowing that I'm a fire type. It really depends. It really depends. But I'm just going to Waterfall, and I think I might D-Dance this turn. Valplay comes out here. Good protect. I think I'm just going to D-Dance this turn. And Brave Bird into the Murkrow. Right? That thing... I don't know if it learns Shadow Sneak, but... But... I know it learns Shadow Ball. I think this is a good time for us to D-Dance. He withdraws the Murkrow. I'm all about that. He's going to go into... He's going to go back into Hydreigon. So Hydreigon's going to take a little bit of damage from this Brave Bird. Golden Go could protect here. It does not, but still. Brave Bird's going to fly here. And probably KO. Yeah, now we get KO'd. That's kind of tough because I want to KO the Murkrow, but stay alive. So we would have to take a hit from this Golden Go. But it's probably going to slide over to... Oh, this thing has Thunderbolt. Never mind, we're dead. I was... I D-danced too. Come on now. That's a tough one. That's a tough KO. Not too bad though. Um, We have these two left. We have the choice ready to roll. I'm going to place one on the left. And we're going to place Dragon Ball out here. And I think we have to Terrestrialize the... The Dragapult here, right? I feel like we have to Terrasalize the Dragapult. It seems like a must. It seems like a must. Terrasalize him so he doesn't really have weaknesses on the field. I could Terra Blast the Golden Go, which I'm really leaning towards doing. But also Dark Pulse over here. I'd rather choice into a Dark Pulse, but he still has a ton of Pokemon left. Um, hmm. What other Pokemon did he have? I kind of forget. Let me see. And the Murkrow. Not too worried about the Murkrow. It could tail one in the back end. And then final Pokemon's got to be Pole, right? Well, not Pole. Uh, Dragon Knight. Kind of scaring me. Uh, I definitely want to Terrasalize the... What's it called? But I got a choice here. I have a choice. And I think choosing into Dark Pulse is going to be our best bet. I mean, this should KO you. So, you know what? I am going to do this. And I'm going to Terrasalize. And I'm going to go into Dragon Call. My best bet. Just straight up Dragon Call into this thing. Gonna witch all the golden go. I'm all about it. I'm terrestrializing. I can definitely see like a Draco meteor coming out here. But on top of this, should do more damage. Oh, and he's he swapped into some rule edge. Hold up. Wait a minute. We should be able to pick up an easy KO. This could be really good for us. This could be a huge turn from us. Especially with Dragon Pulled out speeding. This could be a big turn from us because we can potentially KO the Cerule Edge and the Hydreigon here. Hydreigon protects. I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. Because this, this Dark Pulse should be able to KO with the choice specs. Unless this thing's sashed. 
Which it definitely could be. It definitely could be. But we're both choice to our moves, which I don't mind our moves knowing his team now. I don't mind him. But Dark Pulse gonna fly air. Say see you later. And we are sitting in a hot spot right now. Choice specs, Hydrogon, Choice Band, Dragapult. And I think speed's all in our favor. Oh, nope, that's what he wants to do. He wants to uh, waste out speed. Uh smart play. Murkrow's gonna come back out here. He's gonna pop the tailwind. I cannot protect my Hydrogon. Um hmm, this is tough. Low key tough. Low key tough. We're choosing to this. I'm just gonna go here. Cannot protect. And Dragon Arts would be good right about now. But we're gonna Dragon Call into the Hydrogon slot. The so Tailwind comes out. He has speed now. Don't like it. Don't like it. We're probably going after my Hydrogon, right? What are you doing? Draco Meteor miss? 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 Yo, it missed! <laughs> That's big time play. He misses our Hydrogon. And that pretty much just wins us a match right there. He misses our Hydrogon. You missed our Hydrogon. That's big time. That's big time. That's big time. I'm trying to think how the battle would have worked out at that point. Say he lands that Draco Meteor. We take out the Hydrogon. It turns into basically a 2v1 with Murkrow on the field and Golden Go. I don't know if he would have had it. That would have been real close. That would have been real close. How much damage would have would this Dragon Call do? Not too much. It's not very effective. He, he definitely would have had that battle. He has a bunch of cool choice moves. He has his uh, Shadow Ball. But yo, I miss. We'll take the RNG. We'll take the RNG because I know plenty of times where I lost due to RNG. So feels good to be on the better side. Feels good to be on the better side. But our opponent's going to give it one last shot. End up terrestrializing. They do have speed. And can you take out my pole? Can we steal? Oh, not my pole. Can you take out my my Hydreigon? That's the real problem here. Focus Blast. Yeah, it's going to take me out. That's going to take me out, isn't it? I think we lose this, actually. I think we still lose this. But I'm choosing this dragon move. Look how much damage we're doing. Yeah, I think we lose this. Hmm. Actually, this could be rather close. I wish we had Tailwind. Focus Blast comes out here. We dodge that one. I'll take that all day. Dodge a Focus Blast. I'm with it. Oh, we get it. Was that a crit or was that just high roll? Yo, RNG, I'm sorry. <laughs> or, or opponent, I'm sorry. Yo, RNG's on our side right now. RNG wants us to win this. Focus Blast comes out here. Should be able to soak that, right? Cool. Dragon Pool, I love you so much. We soak that. Dragon Call comes out here. The Pokey guys just wanted me to win. I don't know what to tell you guys. It, it's just some people have it. Some people or some people have it. Some people don't. And I just seem to have it. I just seem to have it. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against yet another Gengar team. But this time, it has Corviknight on it. And Corviknight is a solid Pokemon with a great typing of Steel and Flying. Then you also rock in Annihilate, Grimstarl for support, Rotom Wash, and Garchomp. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Talonflame is a solid lead just for some good speed control. We also have the uh, Will-O-Wisp for burns on some physical attackers. So I'm all about going in with the Talonflame. So Talonflame... You're going to get the lead. I could also go in with Hydreigon. I kind of like Hydreigon for a lead as well. Just choosing into that Dark Pulse can do work on so many different Pokemon. So I think I'm all about it. I think I'm all about the Hydreigon lead and then bringing Dragapult in the back end. And then last but not least, Gyarados. I feel like this this middle core right here of Dragapult, Gyarados, Talonflame, and Hydreigon just works so good in many battles. So I think I'm all about it. I'm just trying to give it one last think about. I mean, Cocktail's not bad. Amoongus is great for support. I mean, I could go Amoongus and try to set up some D-dances. D-Dance could be good. D-Dance could be good. D-Dance could be good. It could be, but is it good? I don't think it's that good. I don't think it's that good right now. I think the Pokemon that we're choosing is going to work out just fine for us, and we could potentially grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video, considering we are 2-0 and we have just been dominating on recording for you guys. But yeah, dude, Dragon Ball with this choice, man, I didn't think it was going to be, like, this good. I thought I was using maybe, like, one, maybe two battles. But I'm using all three. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I feel like it works well up against uh, a lot of the meta Pokemon. It's just super strong all around. But we're going to end up seeing a Rotom Wash as a lead alongside with Corviknight. And I have Focus Ash on my Talonflame, so I'm not afraid to just go into a Talon here. And pop a nice little Dark Pulse. Or choice into Dark Pulse in this instance. We don't have a Steel Terror type, which isn't too bad. But I'm just going to go straight into a, uh, a Dark Pulse over into Rotom. Don't want to set up my spot. Don't want it to just like run my team because Rotom is very solid all around. Like, it's typing makes it so strong because it's not weak to much. So I'm going to roll out with Dark Pulse. Hopefully get a flinch, but more importantly, do a lot of damage, I think. No Citrus Berry? Citrus Berry it is. Both times I always have a Citrus Berry. We're going to heal up with a Citrus Berry. Might be able to KO with another Dark Pulse. I'm not too sure. But he's going to match our energy with the Tailwinds. Good to know that we outspeed the Rotom, though. 
Great to know. Thunderbolt's gonna fire. We are sashed up, so I'm cool with that. I could throw a burn onto the Corvo, which I'm really leaning towards. I'm pretty sure that thing's all physical attacking, so I'm gonna throw a burn over on that thing, and I'm gonna hope that another Dark Pulse can pick up a KO onto the Rotom. It's gonna be kind of close. It's gonna definitely be kind of close. And he ends up protecting. Could have read it, but I just feel like going after Rotom was the right call. A little bit's gonna fly. We do throw a nice lovely burn onto this Pokemon. Hopefully it's not Lumberry. I don't really see it being Lumberry. But you never know. You never know. Cool. Not Lumberry. Dark Pulse gonna get protected. And I think the Corviknight just drops my Talonflame, right? Look how much bigger Corviknight is than Talonflame. It's ridiculous. The size difference. Like, look at that. Makes Talonflame look like a little baby, yo. <laughs> We throw a burn on Corviknight. That's solid, knowing that it has Iron Head and it's a physical attacker. So, a good burn from Talonflame to get off that turn. Um, going to you. Could go into Gary. I mean, Gary's not too bad, but the only problem is if we don't pick up the KO onto, uh, onto the road time, then we have a problem. So, I think this is going to be my play. And I think we might Terra type. I could Terra right here, right now, into fire and start throwing fire moves into that thing. Or I could just go in with the Dragon Darts, which might be an even better play. So, do you have in the back end? Garchomp, Grimmsnarl. Um, I don't think he brought the Grimmsnarl. I think he brought the Garchomp. I'm just going to go into the D-Darts. The reason I'm going into a D-Darts is because of... Uh, is because it can actually split shots. And I can go into a Dark Pulse and double down into this Pokemon. We went choice into that. I'm all with it. If he swaps or anything. Let's see. Not too worried about the Coordinate anymore. But Dragon Darts going to fly. And... It goes one and one and chipping up damage on each side. And again, I did that just in case that the, uh, the Dark Pulse wouldn't have KO'd. So we get rid of the Rotom. I'm thankful for that. And now we're just dealing with this Pokemon right here. Who might Iron Defense, right? No, we're just going to trade up Iron Head. It's burned. We're just soaking up shots all day. And it's just going to slowly get some chip damage. Love getting burns on physical attackers. I absolutely love it. That was a great play by us to throw, to throw that burn onto the score of Night before Talonflame went out. He throws out his, he throws out his third. <clears throat> it's going to be Garchomp. Choice ban, I outspeed. Um, I could tear here, which I think is going to be my play. What could you triassize into? Ground typing, potentially, right? So I'm just going to tear here. I'm just going to tear. I'm going to tear. I'm going to throw Dragon Darts, and I might just double down. I am going to double down to the guard champ slot. It's our best bet. Let's draw the Corvo. Going to show its final Pokemon, which is... Dun -dun -dun. Who is it? Who's your final mon here? going to be an Eye Leap. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with an Eye Leap. It's probably Chewy Scarf, though, which we do have to watch out for. We definitely have to watch out for that choice. I'm going to try slides in the fire. I feel like this is a very solid typing for Dragapult to be. It just kind of neutralizes all its weaknesses. But I re I'm really digging this Terra type. So we Terra out here. Is he going to protect anything? No, he's going to straight up Terra. Probably in the ground type, if I had to guess. It just makes the most sense. And he's going to go from there. Or is it Dragon? Oh, it's fire. Just like us. Just like us. We're fire buddies. We're Chandelier buddies. Dragon, pseudo legendary stick together. They stick together here. Dragon Dart's gonna fly here. Doing a decent chunk of damage there. Other one's gonna slide over to Annihilate. Does a nice chunk of damage there as well. And the Dark Pulse might be able to KO. Close. Real close. Rock Side's gonna fly here. Ooh. Ooh. That hurts the soul. Sort of fire typing. Tailwind's gone from each side. We still have speed. He could have a first turn priority move, but I'm just gonna uh, drop Dragon Darts again. Why to hit Dragon Claw? Dragon Darts. And. I'm gonna go after Gyarados in the back end. I think we have to get rid of the Garchomp, right? Or Rage Fist Annihilate. Could be good. He's gonna end up with you on the Garchomp. Okay, so good call from us. He goes back into Corvo. Corvo's coming right back out here. And I'm cool with that. He's gonna protect you. Okay, I mean, that's not a bad turn. I think he just wants to get off another Tailwind. I think he's looking to get off another Tailwind. But yeah, when Protect comes out here, the Dragon Darts will slide over, which is huge. And at this point, does Corvette really outspeed us? So I would hate for that thing to get off another Tailwind. Burn's gonna chip. Burn is chipping. I would love to double down the Corvo here. Dragon Darts and Dark Pulse again. I'm gonna double down the Corvo here. Dragon Darts flying. Bill doing some damage. Another one sliding over to the Annihilate. Doing a nice chunk of damage, dude. <laughs> Dragon Ball's ripping. We double down the Corvo. We just can't have him setting up that Tailwind. I feel like that would be a downfall and we would lose the Smash if he sets up the Tailwind. Green Punch flies out here. That's going to KO. And oh no, he gets back a huge chunk of HP. 
But I'm fine because Dragapult outspeeds. Dragapult outspeeds everything. Dragon Darts will KO the Garchomp. Dragon Darts will pick up uh, some mean damage onto Nihilate. And then we still have my boy Garrus coming out here up against two physical attackers. Gonna drop them both. But why do I feel like Annihilate has an ability that like doesn't lower its stats? Why do I have a feeling about that? Let me see. Let me see. I guess we'll find out right now. Garchomp, Annihilate, Intimidate's gonna fly here. Clear Amulet on. I think that's Chomp. Yeah, and okay, never mind. I know it has Defiant. I knew it had something, yo. I knew it had something. But on top of this, we're just gonna Dragon Darts, get rid of the Garchomp, and then double down into the uh the Annihilate here. Right after Annihilate. Dragon Darts flying. Built. Later, Garchomp. And then Annihilate should be able to eat up this D darts. But but I believe Gyarados is faster, correct? Makes the most sense. E Dart come out here. Brings down the red. Gyarados out speeds. No, I do not. Rage Fist coming out here. And he's gonna KO my Dragon Ball. It's over with though. It's 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 game. Game set match. Another perfect record for you guys. I've just been doing so good on recording. Really has been doing so good on recordings. I feel like whenever I pick up the game for recording, I'm just playing better because I'm talking out loud to you guys, so it makes me think a little bit more and talk out my plays. So everything works out perfectly. 3-0 for today's video. Got to showcase Dragapult to its fullest potential. Really glad I got to showcase Dragapult in today's video. Like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, Dragapult is one of my favorite pseudo legendaries. And to do good with them and grab ourselves a perfect record just makes my day. I absolutely loved using this Pokemon. Had a lot of fun. And on top of that, like I mentioned already, we went 3-0 with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.